something came in the mail for Senor Caleb. <laughs> Do you want to see what it is? Yeah. Well, open her up, brother. The excitement is palpable. <laughs> Maybe it's full of bunk gumballs. Yes. That'd be great. Maybe it's a cat. A cat? I actually don't think Amazon does that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a roast beef. A roast beef? How about a box full of Barbies? No. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> oh. Let's see what's, oh, don't dig too deep. What if it's balloons? Let's see, dude. The exciting moment. Uh, oh no, you hit a, a snag. What do we got in here? Oh, oh check it out. Oh, it keeps them warm. Aww. Look at that. That's cool. So it keeps the baby chicks warm. Yeah. Oh, instead I see. Using a heat lamp. Instead of using a heat lamp. Yeah. That's really cool. And you can raise and lower it. That's cool. That is super awesome. Is there something in there that says who it might have come from? Yeah. What about over there, dude? Oh, there's your papers. Okay, that, that's not that. A gift for you. Hi, Caleb. Enjoy your gift from Candy Sixtag. Well, what do you say? Thank you. You are so lucky. Yeah. Thank you, Candy. Thank we you. greatly appreciate it. This yeah. will keep Caleb's chickens toasty. Yeah, and maybe get get away from the heat from the heat lamp. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay, so I'm standing in the corner of the silos and, and the barn here because it's so windy outside, but I wanted to tell you what it is we're going to do right now because we have the benefit, the, the blessing of one day of sunshine. There's sunshine and part of our field has been waterlogged most of the season so far, but it's not waterlogged anymore. So we're gonna expand the fences even further so the cows have more to eat before snows hit. And every day that they're eating off that field is one day we don't have to give them hay. So that's awesome. Here we go. What are you doing, monkey boy? Get down from there, dude. Let's do this. We got work to do. Nice windy day. You ready to go? Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna take this fence down and we're gonna move it to go straight towards that pasture over there. Yeah. And then we're gonna take that T post down there and pound it in the end. Then we will wire from that team post that she, that we're that you're gonna put over there, over to that corner over there. So which will actually get this whole area here. Another like probably two, two or three, three acres. acres, and they still haven't mowed down all this, but they're gonna like all this green stuff. You see the water's still even there, yeah. but so they'll work water. around it. Yep. Excalibur. Arr! All right, we're pretty good on this side, except we just need what look like about 50 yards of wire. Got any ideas? Hey, all done. <laughs> all done. All done? All done. All right, I think we're just about there. Last little bit of line. And Hope is waiting out there very patiently because she's holding the other line. And I think we're just about there. 
So it is 4, 10, 4, 12 right now. And I'm supposed to be at church uh, in 40 minutes. And it's a half hour away. Think that's a problem? <laughs> and uh, I probably can't show up like this. Come on, Macy. Is that one touching the fence? No, this side. Through the mud! You can do it! <laughs> hey, Macy. Hey, Dottie. You guys want some more grub? Let's do this! Come on, guys, let's move it. Let's go, wide load. All right, come on. Here we go. Look out, dude. Come on. Let's move. Follow me. stayed and the others were just standing there like moaning at the fence. Yeah, in the corner. Like, I want that grass! You gotta walk around the fence. Yeah, well, there you go. Now they're happy. All right, Mama, mischief managed. I think it's time to take the kids to the zoo. Yay. Hey, you guys, just to show you just how much water we've been getting. This is just a farm right down the road from us. Look at the mud. That, that guy is solid right down, what, six, eight inches in it? And it's everywhere. Look up on the ground here. It's everywhere. The moisture. Yeah. The like, moisture. Looks like they were dumping the silage too fast and a lot of it went on the ground. Yeah, wasted. Yeah. Well, deer find it. In the road? <laughs> All right, everybody, who wants to go to the zoo? Hey, you guys, yeah. who's ready to get your zoo on? Yeah. Well, well, first of all, does anybody need to, uh, you know, anybody? Anybody? Hold it. We're good? I'll hold it. Okay, all right, zoo in a minute. So what's your, what's your favorite part of the zoo so far? We haven't seen anything yet. What's, what's your favorite part of the zoo so far? We haven't seen anything yet. Uh, what's your favorite part of the zoo so far? What's what's your what's your favorite part of the zoo so far? We haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> what would you find? Look. What did we look? Ooh, there's a bald eagle. Well, that's funny. That one's not bald at all. It's got plenty of feathers. Is that a peregrine took? Peregrine falcon. Look at you, all poofed up. Boy, oh boy, those feathers are very, very handsome. I, I think your fall color, your fall color for sure. Well, how can they sleep with all this noise? And like half the size of a Kodiak. Yeah. Let's see, we'll back up. Whoa, Careful. There's I'm gonna step on the Christmas uh, decorations I got that back there. I wonder if you could fit your entire head in his mouth. Probably, but I'm not gonna try that. Do not taunt the bears. Here's the bear exhibit, but that seems, what? What's going on over there? Uh-oh, oh, this could get ugly. Turn your eyes away. 
<laughs> They're not bears. <laughs> They're not working on the habitat. They're out there for a tour. A tour? A tour. Well, they must be the financial benefactors. Ah, they're the richy riches. Yeah. Well, hopefully they made sure that those little bear holes are, are locked up. Or else they're going to get quite the little shock. That was a... <laughs> I just wonder if they've tested the fences yet, because wowza. <laughs> they're not in this one either. Did th they release them into the... <laughs> I, think it's a, I think it's a catch and release program. They get them in the spring, put them in that... Nice habitat back there, and then... Let him go. Good luck, buddy. You're on your own. There's a crossing bridge. No, honey, that's that's actually a teeter-totter. No. Climb on there, sister. No. What do they say? Give me a big enough lever, and I can move the world. Yeah. He's actually on. Get, Get off there, woman. Get off. It was a joke. Hey, well, with all this construction, I think that may be all the excitement we get from this massive a piece of zoo. See reindeer. They got a reindeer? They have reindeer. Oh, we are so in. Yeah. All right, that wasn't exactly as exciting as I thought it was going to be. No bears. We didn't get to see the bears. Although those people they had trapped in there, that was kind of sad. It's very and they look like rich people too. <laughs> They look financial benefactors. Definitely. They get to tour the innards of the zoo. So anyway, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. Yeah. Bye.